Hey guys, this is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl back with another great video for you today. And in this video, we are going in one of my very favorite antique stores, Avonlea Antiques here in Jacksonville. They are a huge place. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you how large their building spans because it is a massive place. So we'll probably have to take several trips here, but man, oh man, do they have some fabulous things. So let's take a look. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you how big this antique mall is. It spans from this end all the way to the other end over here. It is absolutely massive. And this is the kind of store that you almost need a good chunk of the afternoon, if not all day to go in because there are so many wonderful things to see. They've got everything from mid-century modern to antiques to just beautiful chandeliers. It is a great store, great customer service. And as you can see, given that this whole building is full of antiques, there is gonna be lots to discover. So this is one of my very favorite booths here at Avonlea Antique Mall. Now, I love this guy's booth because he has the coolest collection of vintage. And check out those antique jello kites. Wouldn't be vintage and vinyl if I weren't showing you some jello. Now, I want to focus in here on this box of old photographs. Now, this gentleman finds some of the neatest photographs, and he prices them so reasonably at only a dollar a piece. Now, I look at these photographs, and I probably wonder the same things you do where did these people come from what were their lives like who are they and how did this gentleman get this particular photograph well after cleaning out my grandparents house i slowly realized that from the 1950s through about the 1990s we had multiple copies of each photograph and i think that kind of explains how sometimes people end up with a bunch of photographs like this because they were duplicates now check out this victorian and stereoscope card oh my gosh that is really cool I don't have a stereoscope viewer so I couldn't really look at it but it's just amazing and look at all of these postcards and that little happy baby oh my gosh he's adorable and look at this card now that's interesting whose house was this where did they live is that snow on the ground we're not really ever going to find out, but it's super cool. And check out this Piccadilly postcard. This is from the Piccadilly Hotel. Now, I'm noticing the Empire State Building, so they must have had a location in New York City. And, oh, I just love the graphics on that. And, of course, I love all of these old postcards here. That one features some sort of a barn. I'm not sure where that is. And then look at this particular card. We kind of love some of that vintage humor. And for a dollar, you can't beat it. Now, as you can see, this guy has a wide variety of things, including some really amazing old cameras. This is a Jiffy Kodak camera here, and if George is watching this video, I know he'll be able to comment and tell me when exactly this camera is from, but for 30 bucks, I felt like that was a really good deal. These cameras were priced extremely reasonable, around $30 a piece. I can't tell if they're all working, but I still think for that price, for a display piece or for something for flat lays, they're just really fabulous. And this guy always runs a 20% off sale, so the price would be even lower on these. And I did end up picking one of these up uh, for my personal collection because they're just so fabulous. And the prices seemed so good. I checked them all over and found the one that I liked with the best design because I plan on doing some flat lay photographs and I want to have these cameras in the photographs along with some other really cool objects. Now, check out this table here. He has got some amazing matchbooks. Now, I'm not a matchbook collector, but I do love advertising, so I really was taking some time to go through here and see if there was anything that I couldn't live without because they were just 50 cents each, which you can't get much better than that with vintage matchbooks. And check out these trains. And, oh, I love old keys. You can't beat an old key. 
So this is more of this gentleman's booth that I love so much. He's got smalls and advertising everywhere. There's always something to delight the eye. And look at this spotless ice cream container. I mean, this was a time when ice cream came in wonderful containers and medicines came in really cool old glass bottles. You just can't beat some of the advertising from back in the day because they had some of the coolest graphics. And our advertising now is pretty boring in my opinion. I'm sorry to all the graphic designers out there, but you gotta love something like this gun whale. I mean, it is just super cool. And for $8, what a steal. And look at this flavoring cream. Don't you wonder what was in it? Probably something that wasn't too safe, but I love the paper label. Now, I do collect these record cleaning brushes, but I like the ones that have some really interesting graphics, and that one was more plain, so I left it behind. And I wanna point out the Shirley Temple picture in the back, because my grandmother actually had this. So the tour of cool things continues in this guy's booth. Now, this is a piece I'd been looking for for a long time, and $19 was a very fair price on that. However, I ended up leaving it behind because I'm on the hunt for one of those tire advertisements with the glass insert. That would have been an ashtray that had the glass insert advertising some sort of tire or automobile company. I just love them. They're so cool. But I will find one with the glass insert that does glow under the black light. Now, this guy also had a really cool collection of antique Northwood glass, and I love that base color there. And the iridescence on all of these pieces are just stunning. These are in wonderful shape. They are Northwood, and I love the pattern on that. And again, look at the base color. I don't see a lot of that orangey base color in the carnival glass, at least around here. And I love this stretch glass piece. Now, these were priced a little bit higher, as I think they should be. But you still get 20% off because this gentleman always runs sales. So if you collect Northwood glass, really, I think that's a fairly decent price. Now, look at this little stack of goodies here. Oh, my goodness. There's so many fun things. I love this for barber shops here, sanitary barber shops. And then look at this little piece, Jim Cobb for sophomore class secretary. <laughs> What a fun piece for just a dollar. Now, my favorite piece is coming up next, and this is for an Easter dance. And look at the little bunny. And guess what it is? It's an ink blotter that somebody used. And good old glycol. Nice little booklet there. Back in the day when they gave booklets away like that so you could keep your notes in. Now, this is probably the shade to some sort of a fairy lamp. It is hand-painted, but it had a lot of wear, so I left it behind. Sometimes you can sell the shades on eBay and do pretty well because people are looking for the shades. They do break. And, Catherine, this screams you. And you're probably going to yell at me for passing this up. It was only $12.00. But there were quite a few blank pages in the back, so I ended up leaving it behind. So guys, let me know in the comments if I should have picked this piece up. It is pretty amazing. And as you can see here, some of these photographs are the same from the bin that we looked at earlier. Now, Avonlea is a traditional antique mall, and of course, they do have quite a few gorgeous chandeliers and pieces of antique furniture. And boy, you can find pretty much anything you're looking for in this gigantic mall. Now, this booth always has the most interesting collection of vintage and antique furniture with beautiful carvings and designs. And this piece in particular really caught my eye because I was drawn to the top. Now, I will say that I am not an expert at all in dating furniture, and I would love to learn, but because I do woodworking and my grandfather taught me a lot with woodworking, I always have such an appreciation for these old cabinets. I think they're amazing, and they would be just perfect for some sort of a collection. Now look at these chandeliers, and then this piece here. Oh my goodness, just absolutely stunning. And I feel like their furniture prices are very reasonable. That last piece was only $900, which seems extremely fair for a piece like that. And the carving on this is just incredible. I mean, the detail work and the time that went into this just is exquisite. Now, I think this would be a statement piece in anybody's house, but it is rather large, so you'd have to have the room for something like this. And, of course, they've got a great assortment of artwork as well and other neat little things all nicely displayed in this beautiful furniture section here at Avonlea. Now, I have to say, 
That chandelier, oh my gosh, that is one heck of a statement piece. Here is another favorite booth of mine at Avonlea Antiques. You're seeing a bunch of fit and glass right there and some incredible bohemian goblets. This booth belongs to a lady who's collected glass for more than 30 years, and she's actually part of the Depression Glass Society here in town, and she is selling most of her collection. Now, they tell me that there's still a lot of it left at her house, but she is so knowledgeable. She always has all the patterns correctly identified, and she has some really unusual and gorgeous pieces from Fenton to Fostoria to Tiffin. She's actually running a very rare 20% off sale, so I did buy some Tiffin glass from her. I love that Fostoria Trojan in the topaz color. I wanted to show these glasses here because these are Fostoria's romance pattern. They often get confused with Fostoria's June because they both have the ribbon, but June and romance are actually slightly different, so when you are looking at those patterns, it's helpful to really study them closely to make sure that you get the right pattern identified. Now check these pieces out here at the bottom. Nate, this is for you. Look at that slag. And oh my gosh, oh, Fostoria Baroque, one of my favorite patterns. Love it in that blue color. I tell you, Scott, you really would love this booth. This is definitely all for you. And of course, Alex and Aaron, I think you would like this too because there's quite a few pieces of Fenton as well in this booth. And this is interesting. Look at this, this Fenton green crest. I believe it's, well, it's Fenton white crest maybe with the green body. They have different crests, but that's a very unusual piece of Fenton in my opinion. And oh, these elegant pieces of glass are just stunning. I believe that's Fenton coin dot, but Fenton has several dot patterns, so you have to look that one up to be sure. And look at the etching on these. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful pieces of stemware here. There's Fostoria's chintz pattern, another favorite of mine. And then we've got, oh man, look at that heirloom. Fostoria heirloom, so cool. One of the most unusual pieces of uh, glass they did because Fostoria didn't do a lot of art glass like that. So that's quite unusual for them. And then all of this beautiful Fostoria glass down here is just incredible. Man, for all you glass lovers, this is your booth. Now this booth is a real treat for me because I often don't see a lot of antique uranium glass as well as mid-century modern kitsch all in one place. I think a lot of people move here from the Midwest and they get rid of all their good stuff before they come to Florida. And I thought these little Japan figurines here were so cute, probably manufactured in the 1950s. But the real stunner on this shelf here is these couple of cruets. And I'll tell you guys, they light up like there is no tomorrow. And I am just using my tiny keychain black light flashlight. So these things really glow from just a tiny flashlight. And that vase in the back was very tempting. Now I do love sherbets, but I have so many sherbets, so I can't buy any more at the moment. I love these swans because these remind me of my grandparents. There's a photo of my grandfather, Papa, listening to records, and he has one of those on the top of the record cabinet. So I always have a connection to those when I see them. And of course, check out all these amazing barware pieces. I think that's Fenton Coin Dot. Now, this is the same booth that had those wonderful uranium glass cruets, and I want to highlight more of this person's booth because they do so many things incredibly well. One of the things that I love about this space is that they actually display everything so beautifully. They don't have things all piled up on top of each other, just jumbled into a heap. And while that can be fun for ephemera pieces or digger type items, it's not so good for delicate mid-century modern glass or beautiful porcelain. So this person really displays everything so nicely and you don't feel like you're going to shatter everything the minute you turn around. The other thing that this person does really well is they always run 20% off sales and that keeps their booth fresh because they're able to sell a lot of items and move new things in. And I frequent this mall a lot because it's one of the only better antique malls here in Jacksonville. We have about three of them that are really good that I consistently shop at. And a lot of the booths sometimes are often the same. So I don't even bother to go back to them because their prices are so high and nothing moves. But this person, here run sales a lot of things go in and out and she always he or she 
where they always have great items available for sale. And I know that this is a booth that I can consistently get good mid-century modern pieces at for my sales, and I really do enjoy shopping this person's booth. I mean, just look at all that gorgeous glass. The mid-century modern kitsch continues in this fabulous person's booth. Look at these UNESCO Japan anthropomorphic planters. How cute are these? Probably something you don't see a lot of. And then look at this guy. Is he a peanut or a lion? No, I think he's definitely a lion. He's Ralpo. He is a lot of fun. I love his yellow hat and his little fun shoes. He's just fantastic. Now, the prices in this booth are a little on the higher side, and usually I do pay up for things, but of course, they always run a 20% off sale, as I mentioned, so you usually get things at a really good price, and typically there are no damage on any of the items. That is another thing that I really like, is that this person doesn't have damaged items, priced really high, and then run sales. All of these items are in wonderful condition, and she still has the sale. So I really quite enjoy that about this booth. I didn't pick up any of these pieces. I thought they were a little out of my price range for a sale. I did take a close look at this because I'm always on the lookout for Fostoria's coin pattern. It's something I collect and I love the red color. I was trying to determine here if this is actually an original piece of Fostoria coin, but after holding it up to the light, I do believe that is the blood color that Lancaster Colony Company did back in the 70s and 80s so it is a reproduction piece but it's gorgeous and of course I had to take a picture of those butterflies and send them to Angela Marksberry to see if she wanted them because she does love her butterfly pieces. There is just some amazing stuff in this booth and I think anyone that loves mid-century loves kitsch and loves whimsical and fun will really enjoy all the pieces here in this booth and of course I'm always looking out for all of my fellow angel collectors I didn't see any that were at a really good price. I did end up leaving them behind. But if you're a collector, you could totally pick these up. Ah, yes. Good old Neil the Frog. Gotta love some Neil. He's just classic kitsch, classic fun. Now, I've never actually seen this letter holder here, so I thought that was quite unusual. Priced a little bit out of my budget for a sale, so I did end up leaving that there. And I love the owl string art and all of the just cute kitschiness that was available here. Look at these little dogs. Actually, I think they are similar to the dog that has a toothache. I think everybody's seen that before. They have sort of the same styling, so I wonder if they were made by the same company. Then look at all those bonus elephants there for my fat bird finds flock and oh my gosh aren't these pieces just adorable little pugs now Avalia is so large there's no way that I can show you all of my favorite booths so this is the last favorite that I'll show you for today I can't wait to take you back and show you Richie's ephemera booth it's just amazing but this booth here is owned by a husband and wife team that really love advertising and vintage Christmas and around Christmas time this is just decked with all kinds of Mary but right now they've got all of their amazing advertising on display now their prices are a little on the higher side because they know what their items are worth but for an advertising collector like me I don't mind paying up a little bit for some really good quality pieces now this is a great example of a tin that can be worth a pretty good chunk of change if it's in better condition you gotta be on the lookout for that black beauty stove polish and of course old advertising often gets passed up but it can be valuable so make sure at those estate sales you are looking looking up tens, making sure you have originals and checking them out because you never know what you're going to find. Well, guys, it was so much fun going in Avonlea. They just have some amazing things, a lot of variety there, which I really, really like. Everything, like I said, from mid-century to true antiques to just beautiful glass. I love that ladies booth with the glass and then uh, that mid-century booth with all of the Viking birds. Holy cow! I don't think I ever seen so many in one place at one time. It was just absolutely amazing. Now, I didn't pick up a whole lot from this shopping trip simply because things were a little bit more at the retail price, not something I could really pick up for a sale. However, I did buy two things. One is friend mail, so I won't be showing that. I want it to be a surprise for the recipient. The other did come from that booth with all of the Viking birds. They were running a 20% off sale, which I think that lady does quite a bit uh, to attract people to buy more of her items. 
and I thought with the 20% off discount that this would be a great buy for a future sale. So I went ahead and picked it up. I did pay up a little bit for it, but I think it will be worth it. And uh, I'll do it as an offer up so more people have a chance at winning it. So this is what I got. I was really excited to pick up this whole mid-century modern deer planter. Uh, I do believe this is from the 1950s. It is marked whole. It's in absolutely perfect condition. Now this is going to be a little larger to ship, but I am up for the challenge. I just thought this was such a great piece and it is featured on the front cover of my whole pottery book. So I can't wait to learn more about it and do some research through that book when I get home. And of course, guys, before my next video, I'll be seeing you over on Instagram at vintage underscore and underscore vinyl. And I hope as always that you will stay in, stay safe and pinch YouTube. Bye bye everyone.